are doing one final series. We're doing Beachy Gaming versus OG. Wow. You are not a full time caster, so we will Great. even it out. Don't worry. As nope, nobody's go paying down. you for your uh, professionally with the alchemist, <laughs> blaming the range creeps every lane. Like every like, you just know what's the range creep every time, you know. So they get oh. blasted. Oh. Miss Coil. It's gonna be okay, but Seb does actually have another bash. He's gonna get a, a phonic shield, but. Another round of hits, Seb, is may actually take on DY here as he's got another bash coming up and just uh, another hit. The healing salve only goes off for a second. Jerex is quite low. DY turns around with that aphotic shield. He's going to try and man fight Seb. Seb, knowing if it pops, he's actually... Top lane, they're going to make the move on the Yang. Only two into the napalm Look so far, Yang. but the he's, he's really looking for the toss right now, trying to get the bat rider off of him, but uh, no tail just sticks right in front of him, especially with the range whirling axes. Toss him over to fade, but it's not going to be enough to save oh. him. If anything, no tail will die for it, but hey, no tail's a five position. He's shutting down Yang. Or OG as they want it. Or he's going to show up with a double damage rune to be able to finish off the bat rider. Wants to be able to throw the arrow out as well, Anna. <laughs> You'd get hit by that? Ah, oh, for sure. <laughs> Anna is actually going to be doped pretty heavily here, but Anna has actually got himself a nice little hiding spot. That's going to be long enough for Batrider to complete his TP, but they actually just going to go for No Tail. No Tail TPs into an avalanche into double damage. Ori with the Star Storm out, not quite enough damage, but a leap still. And Anna still needs help, I think, as Ori, he's not leaving anytime soon. The double damage wears out, but the arrow, that hits. Fade doesn't have the mana for it, but it looks like they've got the damage a long range toss from Yang from the creep. Gets a little bit more. He's almost six, actually. Oh. And he's also got a leap on Ori, so this is really no con no contest whatsoever. And what? They managed to get the kill at bottom lane, but still, Paparazzi's going to die here. Double kill for Thompson. Possibly dispel. Yeah, in theory. Tried to get the leap into an arrow, but uh, Anna does manage to definitely dodge that one. But Yang, he's out of mana here, and he's going to be chased down by Anna Starstorm. Almost enough to finish off No Tail. He has to back away. Ori values his safety over everybody else's. The toss into the tower, but Seb is plenty healthy, and the rest of OG march forward. And they see fate. Next one, I think they have to play Techies Dora. Just mine this like things up and uh, play from there. Like kind of play around the mines. I like how Jerex has no shame. He's just going to place the exact same mines he killed the Crystal Main with. <laughs> I mean, yeah, these like these high ground mines are the best to do because uh, kind of have to go from the other side. You'll always <laughs> <He's> <laughs> just joking him around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the yeah, advantage so of a high ground ward. Did he see him at all? No. I don't think so. No. He's so confused. Where is this techies? <laughs> What's going oh, on? If he actually oh, no, in he's going to run into the stasis oh. trap. Oh, he my God. Oh, my <laughs> Jerex gets him. Oh. oh, the ring around the Rosie of Death. Jerex, he's going to try and go for the suicide, but fortunately, D.Y., Fast with a miss coil will Dude, be Jerex able to get is that so sick. No? I don't think there's a... <laughs> oh, oh, Yang! He knew exactly where Thompson was. Does manage to cut the tree. Toss up in the air as well. But Seb, he's going to intercept here. Slowing down the tiny. Hopefully just long enough for Thompson to be able to One jump second. into the trees. Turns into a tree, jumps in the trees, and he's away. Just like that. And Yang... He's a little irritated. He wanted a kill. Instead, he's going to try and catch Seb. He goes for the toss back on a DY who holds himself there. Fade with the Frostbite, but Seb is super tanky right now. Meanwhile, they managed to get the kill on Jerex the top lane for the Godlike Spree, but Seb trying to get away another Frostbite from Fade. And they're kind of owning them. Smoke up from OG. They're going to try and contest these bounty runes. DY did not want to let it go, but he's going to have to retreat to the high ground where Paparazzi is waiting. He's going to blink forward with his Radiance, but Thompson does manage to get off a good Wukong's command, catching Fade inside of that one. The Radiance Alchem is trying to chase down No Tail, but he retreats to the safety of Thompson's ult, and now Paparazzi is kind of left alone. DY is, needs to be able to remove that corrosive haste on him, and he does with the Aphotic Shield, but still, another one gets placed on him. Tossed over into Seb. Seb says, thank you very much. I'll take at least one more shot, but Paparazzi's healing really well. Oh, this radius is slowly burning out all of OG. They just didn't have enough burst damage to be able to bring. Look at this. He's really a funny hero, you know? He's Dude, look at this. They're, they're going to sandwich Vici Gaming right now. They're actually going to chase him into the mines that Jerex has laid out by the tower. If they try and go back to the tower, they're dead. Paparazzi's just running straight left, but instead he runs into a stasis trap. He does manage to blink himself away thanks to the Aphonic Shield. A fast blink out. And now an arrow nails Zeb. Paparazzi says it's time to come back. The reinforcements are here. The call has been made. Vici Gaming going to just kite out. Out, and he'll slowly take away. They're, all make it to all, the mines. they're just making it to the mines. They're saying, please, no, Jarek, save us anything but VG Gaming. have oh, no remorse. The no tail. 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 No
right on top of them. He's just pushing in yeah. the side lanes and you can't really deal with it. Oh, they managed to grab Ori. That would be a monster kill. But Seb actually doesn't hit the Slytherin Crush. And now Ori's going to be able to pop the BKB. He does have he's all that the resistance, mines. but now he's gone outside of his puddle. The mines aren't going to be popped because the BKB is still up for Ori. Top. I mean, maybe, well, maybe <laughs> he was mining the bottom side first. Oh, we got the arrow on Anna. Anna taking a lot of damage. They don't want to over. They're trying to get back to the mines. They're just trying to get to the mines. No tail doesn't have a four staff for anything. I feel like this is kind of obvious as they do have the detection down. Tops is going to jump right in though. He does have the Wukong spam. Gets it out before the unstable concoction. But that paparazzi, he does so much damage. He's going to be pulled back into the Wukong spam though. And Tops and getting all that life steal is actually healing up. Same as Anna. They're both dead. They survived through all of those Mjolnir shots until Yang and Fade recommit with the freezing field. It's a good one. They do have the silence going on as well as the crush. Seb, healing up inside oh, of his river. The mines. Mines. He got him! He finally pulled him into the mines. He knew it was there They're too. They're going oh, to the They're, They're going, going to another one! one. <laughs> They're going to jump on top of Yang who has the crush. That's a base, team so wipe. He just gets one shot. That's a team wipe for Oach. Oh, he actually managed to cut the right tree again but Seb as well as No Tailor both here. So DY, he may not want to lure Paparazzi into this fight. Paparazzi is going to go for it anyway. The arrow comes out. Nails tops him but he had a BKB up. The Wukong command. They're going to be able to grab Paparazzi once again but the Aphonic Shield removes that lasso and gets him out of that deadly Wukong's Get command. Now OG, do they have the defensive mind set up? Thompson trying to stay out of vision. The unstable concoction, they spot him for a moment, but they do manage to get that stun off, and Thompson will fall, but Anna's come back in. Paparazzi can't really stand against that pressure as the uh, ultimate from the troll has gone out oh, with the corrosive haze as well. Paparazzi trying to taking corral a decent They're trying to finish off DY. They do manage to get him. Unstable concoction, arrow, frostbite, all these things, and Seb couldn't bail out his carry in time. He's going to be silenced up as well. No tail leading him on a trip through the trees. He starts scrambling to lay down some remote mines. Tops is going to try and buy him some time, but look at that. Fate was in great position to be able to buy some space. Just instantly catches Tops and he jumps down to try and kill the creep wave. And now Thompson unlikely to be able to escape. Gets a lot of damage out with the Wukong's command, but it's not enough. Gaming are like, uh oh, are there just a ton of mines here? Nah, they probably read through that one. It's paparazzi certainly tanky enough. That was just a bluff, as now he's going to make his way towards mid. And that's where the real mines are, and Paparazzi oh, yeah, actually gets yeah. dangerously low, almost loses his Aegis, but just like that, he quickly gets healed up, but No-Tail sees his opportunity thanks to the Stasis Trap to be able to pull in Marana, but it's not good enough. The Freezing Field, as well as the Aphotic Shields, are there to be able to protect Ori. Now Gang jumping in with the Avalanche toss back. He does have that puddle, though, so Seb is actually pretty indestructible in this area behind his Tier 3, Anna trying to bail this fight out, but he just doesn't seem to have the damage to challenge Paparazzi. Jump in, pull him out of that puddle, toss him away, silence up as well. That Blood Orchid is going to be going good enough. And now the arrow onto No-Tail, that just means an extra kill. They actually jump in and Stasis Trap, but there's no mines to follow it up. Jerex just poking at him over and over again. Paparazzi's choice of the heart is proving to be tough for OG to be able to break through. They're gonna try and chase down these heroes with Thompson being able to jump to the back line. The balance strike on it too. Yang will be able to toss Ori away from all that danger and help him survive. He activates the BKBs. He goes for the kill onto Jarek. Jarek's trying to go for the suicide, doesn't get it. Paparazzi comes back in his second life after the ages. He goes straight for Thompson. Wants to be able to remove him. The four staff actually gets rid of the Wukong's command and he's able to be finished off by Paparazzi. Seb, he's the final core left in this fight for OG. He's the last one standing to be able to prevent VG Gaming from going for it, but he just doesn't have any damage left. VG Gaming, three cores dead on the side of OG yeah. with no buybacks, just oh, go straight for the throne. There's no way Jerex can pull a rabbit out of the hat for this one. Yeah, and he's trying right now, but he's even getting hunted <laughs> down. That's a spike kill. I think OG, I mean, they, they had some fun. Yeah. They're certainly dead. I mean, they secured <laughs> top one spot already, right? Yes. So they're just like playing for the wolves. Throw. It definitely seems like the Void Lane is going w very well for Paparazzi. He's just able to shrug off any of the nukes that they throw at him. He's been pressuring the Omni Knight quite a bit, but Thompson actually getting dove here in the mid lane. Fade with his illusions. Going to be able to pick up the first blood, helping oh boy. Yang in some trouble. The missile's after him. He will be able to get the skewer pulling oh. No-Tail into the tower, but No-Tail doesn't care. Up. He just wants to be able to beat down Faith, and he gets oh. out of the range too. of the ink stroke, so he's not going to die. Nope. Ping bottom just to save out the towers, and as... Oh, Maybe they're Moved still going to try and save this one, but uh, he does manage to finish off the Grimstroke there. Gets rid of the Phantom as well. It's just straight up an RP being used by Yang, but no damage to follow it up. Not yet, anyway. That's where Ori comes in. The skewer right into him with the Avalanche Toss. 
an easy kill, but still looks like OG wants to fight. The Winter's Curse doesn't actually latch into Ori. The stomp doesn't actually land either, so Ori's just going to be able to get a toss onto Jerex, bring him back into the Grim Stroke, and his allies in Yang. Four to seven now. It's not fast, I don't cheat to catch him from there. I see. Oh, Ori's just going to try and jump in right away, but there is going to be an instant Tornado EMP. Maybe with that Inkswell, they can actually finish up uh, No Tail, and that's. Gonna be good enough to get one pick off here. Vici Gaming, they may not be able to take that safe lane tower away from OG, but they're gonna try and defend their off lane. Fade, though, gonna be chased down by Anna, who just keeps on laying out the damage. He might even go for DY next to the flat cannon shots. That'll be enough to get the kill onto Fade. They know they have vision on the high ground. It's Smash them here. Yeah, he's just going to be That's able to exactly get a sandwich they're in. Do. They're going to be able to get the tornado EMP out, but the RP instantly being used by Yang. But unfortunately, we have this Void who's been burned out of mana. They try and toss him out into safety here as the Omni Knight's going to use that safety ultimate just to make sure that everyone's going to be okay. And OG can just run down any Vici Gaming heroes, including Ori on the left-hand side. Yang's going to fall as well. That is three cores, two cores. A sun strike to pin anything off Ooh. in style. Five points. He wanted that 165 stats. Oh Jesus! Anna's just not Anna's stolen down either. It. He has uh, no chill now. This guy <laughs> definitely has no chill. <laughs> uh, he watch has a fire blast. Okay, he can dead. actually maybe try and oh, nuke him down, but the stroke missed. If he hits that stroke, yeah, he was down. But now the rest of the team is here. If he got, if if he hits a stroke, oh, he's still, oh, he's close still to almost dying. dead. Oh, the crib. Oh, oh, the tornado oh, actually the blew shit. up. Yeah. It, it it perched it off. That means the damage goes out instantly. Oh my he god. He actually maybe killed the gyrocopter. Don't worry. Seb died for a two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was no trade there. Top tower was already dead at mid tower two. So Starts they, things out with the bash. And it's OG. Oh, this is awkward. They're trying to finish up this Roshan, but Paparazzi's gonna Boy. be able to get a good Chronosphere onto the two cores. This is perfect, but the Omni Knight, oh, there it is. Themselves. They are gonna be able to latch the two of them with the Silence, as well as the RP to follow that up with the Toss on top of everything else. What a sublime combo from VG. Oh. And they left Roshan for them with a quarter of its health. <laughs> oh. Dude, that, that was could combo not gaming. have been perfect. That could not have been better. Some important timings coming up for OG as well with the Aghanim Scepter of Thompson. With that great stomp from No-Tail. Oh, he's going to throw out the Chronosphere. That's going to be able to stop the TP from Anna. Can his damage alone be able to bring him down with a BKB? He needs a few more bashes. Anna is super fast right now. He's going to get a bash on this he's hit. out of mana, though. He oh, is boy. out of mana. He's, he's going to have to pop a... Arcane Boots out from DY, that allows him to be able to jump forward. He does have that Aegis, so he can commit like this, but can his team still bail him out? They're a little bit too far away. OG are going to try and burst him down as quickly as possible with a stun. First starting off, a Paparazzi does manage to get the time walk away. But here comes the rest of Ichi Gaming. Still not enough to be able to bail out Paparazzi. Yang was not ready to go. Couldn't actually do any sort of skewer plays to be able to save his face's void, and that means Vichy Gaming will just lose one. See, so it was the execution, not the idea. As oh, skewer back. nice skewer back with the RP as well. Anna, he's been picked off. They're going to throw out the Chronosphere to make sure there's no chance in hell for Anna to be able to get out of here. And now a bash on a set, but Paparazzi's pretty low. He's going to play it safe. They do a man. Get the soul bind on it too with the silence as well. Now Paparazzi wants to multi. jump for it with a double fire blast as well. Thompson being chipped away. The stroke of fate, the nullifier goes out, but he goes in biz. No longer being spotted by Roshan claiming up there. There it is, the jump. Tornado, a beautiful one from Thompson. Ori is still though there with the follow-up initiation. Is gonna be able to toss Anna back. He does get a few trees out onto Anna as well, but the Guardian Angel from Seb. A Yang's great force staff from him. Does manage to help him out. Yang dies. Anna's still quite healthy thanks to Seb and all the heals. And now, Vici Gaming. I'm not sure how they're gonna deal with this one. Thompson actually gets tossed over. He's like, okay, I'll take the Ogre Magi instead of Paparazzi, who's gonna be forced to go for the BKB teleport out. Hunting for more. He's just gonna ruin Paparazzi's... Yeah. He might get him here, actually. With Gold Snap oh, trying to stop him, the Time Walk does manage to go out. He throws out the Chronosphere, but I'm not sure if you could stick around for this one. They do have a buyback coming out from Yang, but okay, he's not going to complete it. the TP. The Mask Man is going to wear out, so he will be able to Time Walk once. But Thompson can he kill, him again? catch him with another Cold Snap, and now Anna's going to be here as well. Yang, he needs to be able to run some interference, but he just doesn't have it. He knows if he goes in, he'll just die as well. What right next to Paparazzi right in the graves. The and now, oh, yeah. gee, can they just go? That is the best play right now. And then they RP5 of them. Oh, oh. They all... Ori almost finished them off, but No Tail gets healed. What a great call to Brace from Jerex. And now he's just going to slow down Ori. Ori knows he's probably dead, so he's going to try and finish off No Tail, but the damn cold snap doesn't let him swing. And they're just bleeding heroes out right now. That was so well done. The timing of that by Thompson with the tornado. 
He's playing this scene very well. He does have a buyback, and he tries to use it. They do manage to get the skewer back into the tier fours, but Anna is super tanky. Oh, what? what Ori happened? just tossed him <laughs> down. <laughs> That's a triple kill for him, and it looks like Zev tossed over. Yang looks to be able to finish that one off as well. Ori, he did it. He showed up big time. What happened? The tree toss. The Soulbind, okay, a naked oh. Soulbind onto uh, Anna, so that he's not going to try and run into his team. Paparazzi using his BKB as well. He's just going to go straight for Anna, if possible, but we do have the GA and Jerix. Look at his positioning. He's ready to go with the Winter's Curse on the second life of the Void because he's already lost his Aegis. They're going to surround him. Paparazzi does manage to get the time walk away. Fade sitting on the side here, can't really do much to help out Paparazzi. Thompson's just going to ghost walk forward. They know exactly where Paparazzi's headed right now. They're going to be able to get the cold snap, but without a BKB, there's not much they can do. Yang tries to jump oh, in the with the tree fall. He got the invoker, but he skewered out of the rest of the tree fall. He's so he's gonna... Let's see, he's got the cheese as well, so he can kind of bait him in if he wants to. Or he's going to get a little bit low, throws out the avalanche. Is he going to try and fight at all? He does have a toss-up. He's going to use cheese. Nope, he just stunned for a bit too long. Back over to Jerex, who is uh, with the Yules on a fade. That was a buyback, by the way, from Paparazzi. During yeah, just trying to skewer the gyro deep back in, and then just kind of burst him down and snap the Chrono on the other hero. Okay, There's just go for it. They're going to throw out the Chrono Sphere. They do have the Tree Folly there desperate. as well. Paparazzi's ready to go with the Nullifier, but no damage being done. Anna perfectly healthy. Now he's going to get skewered back a little bit deeper. Now the GA ends up going down, but Anna is going to be able to quickly heal up off the Satanic. It's just too much lifesteal. They can't compete with that, especially with the Lacrity damage out. That's why Vici Gamer just going to try and reset underneath their fountain. Paparazzi jumping in, going for a different target, but Seb had the Ghost Scepter, so he's going to be okay. The Cold Snap is really causing Paparazzi some serious pain. Another round of Tree Volley, but the Ghost Scepter is able to protect. What a beautiful RP, but the Winter's Curse instantly counters it, and now Yang is being maced in the face by Paparazzi, as well as the Cold Embrace being able to save Tops and a Tornado throwing him up in the air with Anna, able to finish him off. No buyback from Paparazzi. No that's buyback it. for Ori, and that's it. Vici Gaming will call GG, and the series will end.